right here on 100.9 WCHQFM. All local music, all the time. And joining me live in the studio now, I have been talking about this all week. I've been uh, very excited about this. Figure 8, which is a band out of Harrodsburg, Kentucky. They are working on new material. And I have got the front man of Figure 8 right here in the studio with me. His name is Ryan Sanders. How's it going? There he is, guys. <laughs> Ryan Sanders in the studio with us. Figure 8. Man, let's talk about this oh, band yeah. a little bit. Talent show portion of what the amphitheater is doing today. And uh, we will just keep flowing all through the day uh, until about 5.30 with different performers and uh, different acts. So we're going to get started now with Figure 8. Put your hands together for Figure 8. Oh, okay. Woo! Am I excited about the new Figure 8 recording? Well, of course I am. I'm on it. But on a serious note, I think this album will be really good. And uh, I think it's something to look forward to. That seemed too fake, didn't it? Am I excited about the new Figure 8 album? I don't really know. You can't really hear me on it. We're going to record all the songs we did on the last EP, but try to fix them up some. And we're recording three new songs. We were originally supposed to uh, do our uh, this, this album and uh, in January, on January 19th, but we uh, we decided that uh, that we would uh, postpone it to uh, April 1st. The last CD, it didn't. Uh, it sounded good, but we had only been a band for like four months before then. Levi had only been a band for two months. And this time, you know, we've been been a band for a little more than a year. This is the beautiful town of Harrodsburg. This place is where we played one of our uh, shows a couple of months ago. And our, our four fans were standing about right here. <laughs> Not many people uh, showed up. But a couple of weeks later, we played a Halloween party show at somebody's house. And uh, it was a very, it was, it, was, it was pretty fun. Levi and I met when we were in kindergarten. It was back when we were five years old. I came up to him and asked him to be my best friend. He'd like, uh, sure, why not? And that's how we met. Ryan, what can I say? I knew him all the way back in ninth grade. I, well, sort of knew him anyway. I didn't talk to him at all. I didn't even know he, who he was really. I knew him from a fellow named Josh Conover. Ryan started it in his middle school days with these guys that we don't like to talk about. <laughs> and then I joined in my 10th grade year, which was his ninth grade year. And I play drums, which is kind of strange, because I'm not very good at drums. That person in there is good. Um, it's the Mercer County Jazz Band. That happened for a while, and then me and this guy named Logan Hensley left. He was the bassist. And then Levon and Jacob, you know, they joined. In our sophomore year together, uh, we had a math class together. It was geometry, and uh, by coincidence, we sat next to each other. Ryan talked to me, and he was in a band, and he was like, hey, you want to play drums for him? I'm like, oh, 
I love to play drums. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of how it started. We practiced, I think, the, the second to November, I think. That's our first practice date. So I was hanging out with my buddy Jake one day at school, and he asked me if I wanted to come over to his house that weekend. So I said, sure. I came over to the came over to his house to find out he had band practice and he asked me if I wanted to come. I said, sure, I'll be the photographer for the band. First show they played at, I came along and a roadie type thing, brought in their equipment, took some pictures. After that, they figured they'd need a bassist. So he, he asked me if I wanted to be bass for a while. I don't guess they ever got around to finding a new one. So I guess I'm, I, I'm a permanent member of figure eight now, I guess, so that's pretty cool. The last time we did our EP, we did the three songs in about six hours. You know, one day span. I'm gonna be important in this band. How do you think I feel? This time, uh, we're going into the studio to do uh, four days, but six songs instead. So, uh, let's hope it turns out well. The feeling is indescribable. It's just like I was just a normal dude, but now I'm a figure eight dude. We're gonna record April first through the fourth. How long from now is that? That's about a month and a half away. I'm really scared, really nervous, really. Uh, well, technically, exciting. it is a month away. A month, really? Man, time flat, time passes so. So guys, what are we doing? We just got to the studio. We're gonna record. Or at least I'm gonna record. Standing outside in the cold. Yeah. It's so cold. Oh my god. Stag up looks We're like just playing some hot scotch outside the school. April Fools, which is kidding. <laughs> Nick? We're in lunch like at Mercer County Senior High School. Okay. Are you excited for the album to come out? Uh, and we already asked this question. Due to life getting in the way, our good friend Jacob has decided to leave the band. We haven't played a show since October, and uh, which was one of not not our best show I've ever played. We actually don't have any footage of that show, but it was one of our one of our worst shows ever. Well, due to all of us going our separate ways and having lives, you know, lives, really close. So we've decided that the best option would be just for the band to go on a short little farewell tour and break up. We look back on you know the ties of recording and. 
practice and all the other stuff that's happened over the years is those were the good times while we were looking forward to the future. And this is the future. We're, we're growing up and we're, you know, we're... Makes me cherish the time that we had together. We actually have four shows playing for the month of May. We're gonna go out with a bang. Yep. Instead of with Whisper. Yep. And, he, and we, uh, we posted the information on some of the social media sites and, you know, not much reaction. I mean, we look back now and realize we never really did get popular. <laughs> yeah. The video you've seen is just in our kind of our own little little world, but we've we've enjoyed it. And it's April now, soon it's gonna be May, and then May 31st we're graduating. And I kind of it sounds wrong, but I kind of hope to keep playing music. You know, I like music, and you know we all like music. We need to just uh, cherish the moments we have as a band. Now we need to look forward to the next minute, not the next year or next couple months. Just gonna live it up where you can. We look forward to the future, even though the future is now. Hi, I'm playing. Your jacket sucks. Yeah. So, where are we, Nick? We're at our Mercer County, our very own Mercer County Senior High School, and we're looking for Levi because he has disappeared, and we're about to play our third to last show ever. Last show, it's crazy. Well, let's hope we find him. It's ready to rock. Congratulations for finally stopping. How are you all? I'm ready to. We're good. Do stuff. Yeah. Look at all that drum stuff. Really? Yeah. Well, you're gonna be graduating what day? Not this set. I'm coming Saturday, but next Saturday. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna die, Nick? No, I trust Jake. Yes. Oh. We're gonna die. All right, guys, we're about to play our last show. <laughs> we are Danville Country Club, and we are ready to play our last show. Are you all nervous? It's our last show. Let's all, let's I feel play. like I feel like I don't belong here. Is this the end of the Figure Eight movie? Since this was our last show. Yep. This is this is it. The last show. It's been fun, guys. Uh, after this show, this is our uh, our last show. We're all going to the college and everything. So what branch were you? Here's our was in the army last song. Special forces. This is our favorite song. I got the signal. In honor of the movie Titanic, the greatest movie ever, <laughs> gentlemen, I'm not playing. That's wrong. <laughs> We just played our last show. Today's um, Memorial Day. It's a Monday. We're out of school today. It's our last week of school. 
I'm packing up all the stuff in here. You know, we, we've been here for four, for four years. We've been at this funeral home. We've, you know, we've practiced here, but now we're, now we're moving out. And yeah, me and Nick are going to be graduating next, uh, this uh, upcoming Saturday. He'll be going to a different college and I'll be going to a different college. Originally, we planned to go to the same college, but you know, that didn't work out. We both decided we wanted to go somewhere else. So who knows what'll happen next? The class of 2014. We may not all be as musically talented as Ryan Sanders, <laughs> or have the ability to write literary gold like Aaron Clark. <laughs> and none of us, none of us can be as deceptively handsome as Nick Perry. <laughs> <laughs>